Hey guys, welcome back to Fishing. I'm Rodney, and today, well, we're going to tie a little uh, East Tennessee hair jig that I used to fish when I was lived down there, and it worked on South Halston, Boone, Watauga, Cherokee, all of those, all those East Tennessee lakes. This this one worked in. It also works on Cumberland and Dale Hollow and Taylorsville and Green and Rough and all the lakes here in Kentucky too. So it's a good one. You guys, uh, make sure you check this one out, and uh, let's get to working on this. So, start out, we're using our snooty mold here. It's a eighth, three sixteenths, and a quarter ounce um, jig. We put some wire guards in that thing, and we've got just the light wire, must add a 60 degree hook in it. The other thing we're gonna use, it's gonna be a little bit of a hair jig, so we're gonna use some bucktail. We're gonna use some silicon rubber in it, just a little bit, just to give it a little color. All right, start off with, we've got our jig in the vise. And we're just going to take these wire weed guards and we're just going to bend them back just to kind of get them out of the way. And we're just going to start with uh, some red thread here. And we're just going to lay a little bit down here. Alright, so we've got our kind of olive bucktail here and it's got some olive in it. But then it's also got this brown in it and that's kind of the color we're going to focus on using. So we'll find some here that we like. And it doesn't take a whole lot of hair to make a good hair jig. Now remember, when you take, use hair, you want to hold the ends of it and pull all this little underdubbing out of it. Because all that will do is make your hair just a little more bulky than what you would like it to be. All right, so we've got our little tuft of hair here. We're just gonna lay this on here. Just do a light wrap to kind of get it situated where we want it. And then we're gonna cinch it down with a couple of turns. Now we're just gonna rotate our vise a little bit here. And then we're gonna put a little bit more on another side. So we're just gonna keep at it. So we can get it as thick as we want it. A little bit more. Before we put that silicone, we're going to take some of this crystal flash here. It's kind of this gold color. And uh, we're going to put a few strands of that in it just to give it a little, little flash in it. So all we're going to do, we're just going to take a strand out like that right there. We're going to lay it on there. One wrap like that. Give it another wrap. Down here and give it a wrap like that. Give it a wrap. Give it a couple of wraps down through there just to hold it all in place. Just like that. And that's going to give us a little shine and then we'll just cut those ends so they're free flowing just like that now let's take our silicone rubber and we've got four or five strands here but we're going to do the same thing as we're just going to split that in two because we don't want it all in one spot and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of separate it a little bit we can get it separated and we're going to hold it with our fingers kind of like that so it goes into two different places. And 
We're just gonna put one loose wrap on that. Hold it in place. And then we're gonna do the same thing with our other strand. Kind of like so. And we'll give that a couple of good wraps. Now, we're not gonna leave these strands like this. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take these strands and fold them over like this right here. And we're gonna wrap all of it up. All right, we're just gonna keep wrapping this thing up till we get it wrapped up the way we want it. Then we're just gonna take a piece of fishing line to finish this knot off. Double it over, like so. Lay it down on here. And we're gonna give it about 20 good wraps around it. Or so. I'm just going to cut that off. Then we're going to take our little tag in, pass it through that loop. And then we'll just pull that through, snip it off. And then right there's our jig. The last thing we gotta do is trim this silicone down. So that's real easy. Just come down here and snip it off. Just like so. And we're gonna adjust our weed guards back. And there we go. There's our little East Tennessee fly. Caught a lot of fish on that sucker. There we go. How's that? Mm -hmm. So here's what I like to do with this little fly. I like to take some of these uh, Zoom small salty chunks right here. So I'll just take one right here like this and just thread it on to the back of my jig right like that and that little sucker right there is a little deadly combination in the winter time when it gets cold even first thing in the spring that right there can be a a good little jig to throw so thanks guys for stopping by watching this jig tie uh before y'all get out of here Check out these um, Del Hollow videos right here. They'll be up here on a card somewhere or a link down in the description down there. So make sure you check them out before you leave. And again, I'm Rodney with E-Fishing. Thanks for stopping by and uh, we'll catch you all out on the lake sometime. We're out.